This is 3.6 kilos of wood I use for the rocket stove. And this is 3.6 kilos of wood I use for the stove in the house. In preparation for the rocket stove though, I have to chop it up into smaller sticks so it'll burn properly. I then also have to preheat the rocket stove a little. And add small chips here to get the embers going before adding in the bigger sticks. Incidentally, these are the six points that I will be taking readings from for the heat and then averaging it out. So we can see there, after 15 minutes, it's kind of burning away nicely and getting up to temperature. At which point I can add the bigger sticks in. Comparing that to the stove in the house, I can just add the logs in as is, a fire lighter and some sticks, light it and it takes off very quickly. And after only about four minutes, we can see that it's already up to temperature. I also take a reading as best I can from the side of the stove. So it'll be the two sides and the back, but most of the heat comes from the glass at the front. I then start feeding the logs into the rocket stove. It needs attention, not constant attention, but certainly more than the stove in the house. And these are the only two instances where I open the door and move the logs around to help them burn better. Other than that, I just leave it to burn by itself. I measured the front, the back, and the sides of the stove in the house, and I got a total of 6,639 square centimeters. The rocket stove body, top, flue and feeder tube gave a total of 17,180 square centimetres. And that's nearly three times the surface area of the stove in the house. They both burned for three and a half hours. The total average temperature for the rocket stove was 136 degrees centigrade. And the total average temperature for the stove in the house was 156, so a difference of 20 degrees there. However, the surface area being almost three times that of the stove in the house means the rocket stove is far more efficient. Although it does require an awful lot more attention. I don't mind that too much because I'm working in the workshop anyway, so I can keep an eye on it. I might look at adapting the rocket stove to take pellets, which would require far less attention. So all in all, the rocket stove is clearly far more efficient than the stove in the house. Having brought more of the flue into the workshop and coming up here, I'm getting a lot more heat from it. In fact, there's still a lot of heat going out the flue, so this could be improved upon maybe even more. The downside with this is the preparation with the logs, chopping them up compared to the stove in the house, which is very, very simple. But then again, it's not really designed to burn logs like that. Usually I would burn off cuts, you know, whatever I have lying around, which is very, very handy if you just feed them in. What I would like to do is adapt it to take wood pellets. That way it can be fed and stacked right up with wood pellets and you could walk away from it and just let it burn. But overall, I'm still really happy with it and it's working really, really well.